Hi guys, my name is Noshad and welcome to Learn MVC. This is our sixth video. This is our sixth lecture, sixth lab to the Learn MVC. So today we learn to the temp data with using keep and pick method. So in the previous video, I have already done the temp data uh, to pass a data action to action with using the temp data in a single request. But in this video, I'm trying to explain the keep and pick method using keep and pick method to handling a data with multiple requests. So I'll explain you in a practical, so it's very easy to understand. So let's go and go to the practical, just create one action result here, public. Action result. My page. And just return. Uh, okay, now just create one view here, just right click on the my page action. And just click on add view, it is the name of my page. Okay. Now just save and just go to the again home controller and just create the temp data here. Temp data name of my data is equal to just pass anything. I just pass the username here. Okay. I will semicolon just enter and just go to the my page or CSS estimate page and just Just save and run the application. Let's see. The username no shot is available. Now I just enter again. This is second request. Sorry. Okay. Now I'll just show you here. I just put the breakpoint here. F9. Just put the breakpoint and let's see. Just call the my page action. My page and see. Enter. This is my first request. The username is available, right? Now enter again and see here. to source and check temp data is null temp data is a not a persist or data for a multiple request for a second request if i am using a peak and keep method peak and keep method then temp data are temp data is able to persist a data for a second request i'll show you in practical the stop just go to my page.cshtml just remove this line okay now just keep it this line and also here just write some code like pain data dot keep using keep method and you pass the name of m data my data just only one line and just run the application can see here I feel the data in time data and I read the data and call the keep method right the username is not shut now again make a second request enter and just check the data still available that means with using a keep method you are able to persist the data for a second request for the second request with using temp data now the third scenario is the second second scenario is how to use a peak method so now i'm going to the my page.css team and i just remove this code and uh, here i just write sorry let's create a variable here string as is equal to temp data dot using pick method pick just pass the name of m data my data dot also this is the object actually 
now here I'm just going to be passed the my variable name as okay now just save as user Now run the application. Let's see. To the stack, temp data. I fill the temp data. I just read the temp data using pick method. You can see here the string variable name is not string variable is not shown. And the string data not shown. Now I make a second request. And let's see here. Maybe some issues there. I'll just check out. Uh, I'll do one thing. Just uh, select the again. Just go to the full source. Okay. See. So. With using pick method, I I just read the data with using pick method. Temp data using pick method. So <coughs> there is a sorry, there is a two method to handling a data, handling a data of handling a temp data. So uh, suppose you are required to persist a data for a multiple request for a second request with using temp data. So there is a two method available: pick and keep. You can use the pick and keep method, and you can persist data for the second request. Okay. So I had done before the temp data, but I forgot to two method to explain in this video. That's why I take a small video to explain the pick and keep method. Also, there is one other option is there. Suppose I don't read the value of temp data. I just remove this one. Save. I just stop. I have not read the value on the page, and I just check. Just do the step over. Temp data is filled. Now enter. Right now again I enter the second request, and you can see here still data is not persist. Maybe there is an issue there. I'll just check out in other video. So there is a pick and keep method is there. Keeping in mind, there is a pick and keep method is there. If you want to make and persist a data for multiple requests with using temp data, there is a pick and keep method is there. I hope you are enjoying this video. Thank you.